over the last few videos, I've been showing you guys how to do some great free cybersecurity projects that will help you prepare for the real world of cybersecurity. However, I haven't actually told you how you can go about putting these together in a portfolio for an employer to see. So that's what this video is going to be about. If you haven't seen these project videos, I recommend checking them out after the video. So how exactly can you document these projects? Well, we're going to discuss two ways in this video. We'll look at how you can add them to a CV or a resume and how you can create a project portfolio on GitHub. Either way is very suitable, but I do recommend doing both of them. First, we'll look at how you can add it into your resume. So looking at a normal resume, you start off with your profile section where you tell them a bit about yourself. You'll then go on to education and then look to detail your experience. If you need a template for your resume, I do have some on my website where you can download them for free. It will be linked in the description below. This is where I then propose you add a project section. And this is where you can detail exactly what projects you've been diving into. So for example, you can start off with project one where you'll give a short description about what you did. So in this example, we're talking about designing and implementing a personalized seam tool. We're then saying we developed expertise in log management, event correlation and threat detection. So you're giving them a brief summary of exactly what you were involved in in this project. And then you'll lay out your skills. So what exactly did you gain by doing this project? There's no point just detailing it without telling them what skills you gained. And you'll probably want to give skills that are relevant to the job you're applying for. There's no point noting down skills that they're not looking for because that's the main thing you're doing it. And then you can add a link in saying for detailed information behind this project to view things like screenshots, go visit this link. And for this video, we're obviously going to talk about GitHub and how you can link them to a portfolio on there. So let's look at a template that I put together on GitHub. This is readily available on GitHub for you to use. You can easily copy and paste or make changes where you see fit. And you can easily add the link once you've created your own into your resume. So you can see here on the home screen, when someone clicks the link, they'll be presented with your name and your portfolio. This is where, again, just like your resume, you'll give a brief introduction into yourself, but you'll want to more or less outline why you've created a portfolio like this and what specific skills you're trying to gain out of the projects. And then you'll move on to a project overview. This is where you'll list a brief outline out of all of the projects. So you'll have separate columns for projects, skills, tools, and links. Now links is where you will link to that specific project where they can go into more detail. But as an employer, they might be looking for specific skills. So they'll want to go through all of your projects in a quick way and just look for a specific skill like log management and say, yeah, let's look at that project into more detail and they can easily click into that. You don't want to give them too much information at first that they just basically get confused and click off. So it's nice to have a little overview. After that, you will then lead into certifications. This is where you can list out all your certifications and or even link to them. And if there is a situation where you don't have any certifications at the moment, you can also just list out ones that you plan on doing and why you plan on doing them. Don't forget, this is not your resume. It doesn't have to just be the things that you've completed. It's basically a portfolio to tell them about you. So list them, the ones that you plan on doing in the year coming ahead. Don't say that you plan on doing something six years down the line. So that covers the main page where you'll be introducing your portfolio. We'll then go into a different section, which is templated out again, where you can dive into a bit more detail about your project. So once they click the link, this is where they'll now want to see a bigger outline of the project objective. So you'll want to give more details about the objective or the goal you tried to achieve. So for example, if you were looking to build a seam solution, Tell them what your specific goals were at trying to do that. Were you looking at centralizing log collection or were you looking more at the analysis of logs? Detail exactly what it is here. Bullet points are better just so you make sure you get that across to the employer. You'll then have a section for tools that you've used during the project. So this is a really good way to show employers that you've done lots of training and you know how to use tools. Maybe even better if you're using tools that they want you to use on the job. That will be really good for them to see. And then a really important section about skills that you've gained. So you're not just going to list the skills, but you'll also explain either how you've gained them or how it will help you in the workplace in terms of doing a specific job. So for example, if you've learned really good skills in security architecture, 
tell them how you developed them during doing this project. Don't just list them out because that can easily be copy and pasted. You want to tell them how you developed that specifically within this project and how it will benefit you on the job. Then you'll go on to finally talk about outcomes. So once you did this project, how did it actually benefit you? Were you able to identify lots of critical vulnerabilities and help mitigate them? If so, tell them here and use screenshots if you can. This is your portfolio. Screenshots are good. You can show them that you've actually been doing the work. The more examples you give, the better. So that then covers everything that we have for making your GitHub portfolio. And if you're interested in this type of stuff, we have loads of discussions about it in my Discord community where you can join and get lots of different hints and tips. And I usually send information on there before I end up posting it on YouTube. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to see more like this, do leave a like down below. It massively helps it out and it tells me you're enjoying this type of content. If you do create a GitHub portfolio, do send me a link. I'd love to check it out and I will happily provide you some feedback.